Welcome back to Main Street Living, Danielle Quincy. We all know that life is better when we're healthy, right? Both physically and mentally. Right. And lately we've heard a lot about wellness, which takes our complete well-being into consideration. Our next guest has a multitude of talents. He's a chef, an actor, an author, a filmmaker, and a dad. He's also a man on a mission to help people take control of their health. Please welcome back to Main Street Living, Charles Maddox. Charles, thanks so much for joining us again. Hey, thanks for having me again, you know? <laughs> so obviously a uh, man of many hats, uh, similar to Quincy today. Uh, we've talked about that just now, musician, actor, author, chef, producer, but you've really made your mark in the field of health advocacy. Why are you so passionate about helping people maintain or regain their health? Um, because I'm dealing with health issues. You know, I'm, I'm uh, a, a type 2 diabetic, even though I was able to utilize um, food and exercise to uh, per se reverse my type 2 diabetes. And, and what I mean by that is really it, it, I'm able to control it um, without medication. And, and uh, so that's, that's really um, one of my passions. And also because uh, my mother suffers from a rare disease called uh, complex regional pain syndrome, CRPS. And I created a documentary based on that that has reached, you know, millions of people and, and is actually the biggest thing in the field right now for this condition. Wow. wow. But, yeah. you know, I know I deal with some health issues as well, uh, more specifically like cholesterol. So I, I certainly get it. Um, you know, changing your diet so you don't have to take the medicine that could cause other problems. But, yeah. you know, like being healthy, Charles, it, it, it sounds pretty easy, right? Just eat healthy foods and exercise, right? But man, I'm on my fourth cycle of starting over again. <laughs> like, oh. why is it so much difficult than it sounds, man? You know, and that's interesting. And um, one of the things we're working on is a mental health series. And I didn't realize that I suffer from a mental health issue. And, but in all reality, we all suffer with mental health issues, right? Because at, at different times, we could be depressed, we could have anxiety, we could have stress, we have things that, um, you know, challenge us every day, whether it's relationships, but you're like me, who was starting this cycle over and over and over again, the same thing, I didn't realize that I had a, 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 an unhealthy relationship with food. And I would find myself at times binge eating and it was unbelievable. So, and then I realized that that was a mental health issue, something that I have to overcome. So, because if we had that discipline, we wouldn't be having to start over. We wouldn't be cheating. We wouldn't have, but most of us don't realize that, that that's a mental health issue that we have to, 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 to face and focus on. That's no. so true. I mean, it's just, I'm sure, one of the many topics that you cover because you produce several television series showing people reversing conditions like diabetes and regaining a healthy life. Yeah. What can you tell us about Reverse and also the new program you're working on called Reverse the Church? Yeah, well, Reversed is obviously, you know, we just, we had a great season with that and, you know, uh, uh, we're going on to a new season. Uh, we had tremendous success on the first one. We, you know, Lisa, for example, has lost 70 pounds and come off the insulin pump after 13 years. Um, all of them have, have done very well and, and you will see that on the series. Um, Reverse to Church is an extension of that. And what we've teamed up with is uh, 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 Dr. Martin Luther King's daughter, Dr. Bernice King, uh, Grammy Award winning Kelly Price, uh, Pastor Jamal Bryant, who runs New Birth out of Atlanta, a mega church. And we're basically going into the church to reverse the health of a whole congregation, oh, which wow. is going to be a game changer, right? And why we're doing that is because we know that the church is very influential and that the the pastors and 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 the leaders of the church if they if they focus a, a little bit more not just on sp the spirituality but the physical right because we know that in in the church and also the black community there are a lot of disparities as far as health health insurance um uh, the what we eat right and uh you know we like that good that good soul food up in the church you know so yeah. if we're able to change some of those habits and introduce new healthy habits with amazing professionals can you imagine the change and have them uh be more influential as far as pushing health it, 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 we can we could we this could be a game changer that just could speak volumes 
Wow. And and that's absolutely true. And I would like to go back to uh, just to piggyback off the last question, because you kind of led into this next question about mental health and how it ties into healthy life. Um, yeah. And how are you actually working to remove the mental health stigma? Can you elaborate a little bit more on that? Yeah, we're working on a, a, a show right now that, that it's the same type of format that we do. And we're going to bring this this series. We're actually bringing some celebrities. So we've got Jay Barnett who used to play for the Green Bay Packers, coming in as a mental health expert. We've got uh, uh, Gary Goodridge, who used to be in the UFC, who deals with uh, CTE, um, and some other well-known people. Gary uh, Jay also works with Michelle Williams from Destiny's Child. We're hoping to, to grab her on. She's a big advocate of mental health. So we're going to bring in uh, a couple of ex-sports uh, figures and, 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 and well-known people um, and bring them in a house and really get that conversation going on mental health in a beautiful TV series. So nice. we're really excited about it. Once again, some game, ch game changing things that, that we're really focusing on right now. You have so many projects going. I mean, you have so many irons in the fire at one time. It must be hard to keep up with you. So where can viewers keep up with you and find more information yeah. about all of your projects? Oh, definitely. You know, they can go to my website or, they, you know, Bella and Ellie Media. Uh, dot com uh, or, or they can follow me on Twitter, which we've got the Twitter handle right there or Instagram. Uh, I'm not hard to find. Charles Maddox. Um, it's everywhere. Google me and 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 I'll and you'll you know, you'll be at my doorstep. In, no, no, you're not be at my doorstep. <laughs> you'll, you'll, find, you'll find me pretty fast. Awesome. <laughs> Awesome. Yeah. Well, we certainly do appreciate you stopping by with those helpful tips. And we definitely look forward to supporting you and uh, happy new year to you there. You too. Thank you. All right. A lot of real life things going on there, uh, Danielle. And um, up next, we got a real life winter wonderland coming to you, oh. whether you and Cheryl will both like it. I know you won't believe it. So we'll be right back. Stay right there.